Hi. Today I'm here with two new friends. This is Kim from Hi. the channel Kim Dao, and this is Sunny from the channel Sunny Dahe. And today I'm going to ask them about their first impressions of Japan because this is Sunny's first time yes, ever I'm so excited in Japan. To be here. <laughs> and Kim has been here a few times. But yeah, we just moved here yep. finally. So. I was really surprised how nice people were. On my first day ever in Japan, I was so tired. And I remember I was walking like a makeup shop and mm. I walked into a mirror by accident. <laughs> and then I apologized, I bowed and apologized, looked up, and I was like, oh, it's me. And then, like, yeah, people were just like, oh, are you okay? Like, they asked me if I was okay. And then I remember I was walking outside, and then, yeah, there was a lady that kind of bumped into me, me by accident, and then mm. she just. Stop. She was like, oh, are you okay? And just like, you know, the people are so nice. Yeah. And I thought oh. customer service is yeah. amazing here. Like, yeah. Japanese people go above and beyond for customer right. service. Like, they, it's so amazing. Yeah. It's so amazing. Um, like, if you guys are ever in a store and you yeah. ask for an employee to help you find a product, they will, they like, will. run. They and, will find you. Yeah, they'll, they'll like, you. run and try to, yeah. yeah. I always feel really bad because I'm like, yeah. you don't have to hurry. Yeah. Like, it's, it's okay. I'll, yeah. I'll take your time. But they always, like, run off to find it. Yeah. Stuff and, yeah, yeah, and then after you pay for stuff sometimes, they like bring it to the door for you, they give it to you, yeah. they bow to you, like, they yeah. always bow to you when you come into the store, it's right. really, really nice customer right. service. Yeah. Um, you probably can't tell here in Tokyo too much because mm -hmm. like most people take public transportation, but mm -hmm. where we live, we drive everywhere, mm -hmm. and they're like nicer stores, they'll actually like go outside and bow to your car while oh, you wow. leave, until yeah. you leave, so sometimes oh, if it's a busy yeah. street and it takes you a few wow. minutes to get out, they'll be bowing like the whole time, oh, wow. waiting for you to pull out. Yeah. So, yeah, actually this happened to me <laughs> once. Yeah. yeah, that happened to me once. I was in Hokkaido and I was staying in like a really nice fancy hotel. Mm -hmm. And then like when we left, we ordered a taxi, and then they uh, helped us put our bags in. And then yeah, we got in a taxi. The taxi mm -hmm. drove off, and then they would run to the front, and then they stand there bowing to us. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, that's so sweet. It is really nice, but yeah. it it makes me feel like uncomfortable. Yeah, like I'm not I'm not like a person you need to bow to. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to do that to yeah. me. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. But it kind of feel nice though. You feel really. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, oh, I'm the president. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels yeah. like. For me, I feel like J Japan is really safe. Kim mm -hmm. told me like mm -hmm. so many times about this, like, yeah. Sunny, Japan is really safe. And I was like, when we went to um, Starbucks, Starbucks yeah. last night, uh, we all of us like left our table. We like left our cameras and our bags and everything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Kim, are you sure it's okay? And she's like, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And I was like, Huh. So yeah. uh, when we went to order and then when we came back, everything was still there. Yeah, it's really and I was so like, whoa, this place is really safe. Yeah. And I'm like so <laughs> secure about it. Yeah. And I'm like, I really like that about Japan. Like yes. sometimes when you go to other countries when you travel, oh, you, you feel really that. scared, yeah. right? You worry, right. you don't want to lose yeah. your passport, yeah. you don't want to lose your bag, wallets. <laughs> Things can happen. People. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> right. So in the U.S., they tell us when we travel to other countries to like wear our valuables, like taped under our clothes to our body mm -hmm. or something. Oh. Make sure that no one can like pickpocket you or something. Mm -hmm. But this is like the only country yeah, that, that I've heard of yeah. where. You can go and you don't really have a problem with no. that. I still don't leave my purse on a table, even though lots of people do, because do, like yeah. there's always a chance someone yeah. could take it. Yeah. Um, it's not like perfect. There are mm. things that could happen. Yeah, so yeah. I, I don't recommend leaving your <laughs> purse on a table, but like you can leave a shopping bag or your coat there, and okay. I would feel I do that all the time. I, yeah. I feel comfortable with yeah. that. Japanese people are so honest because mm. I've lost a lot of things before. Like, I lost my passport. Oh my I lost my passport. <laughs> that would be so scary. Yes, I lost my passport yeah. and um, I spent the whole day looking for it and I got it back because mm. someone handed it into the police. Mm. So that was so lucky. Um, I also lost my camera. I also mm. lost my shopping bag one time. Stop I got losing everything. things. <laughs> <laughs> I lost so many things and I always get them back. Like people hand it into the police or like the lost property. So it's yeah. really nice. The only two things that like um like people take umbrellas a lot yeah. here. So like I always carry my umbrella in the store because yeah. I think like most foreigners I know have an experience with like leaving their umbrella outside the store yes. and then someone taking it. Yeah. Um and then like bicycles oh, yeah. get stolen sometimes too. Like oh, sometimes they'll return them to you, but then sometimes not. So mm. make sure you lock your bicycle. Yeah. June had his bicycle stolen once. Oh, no. because, but usually, usually it's okay. Yeah, usually. Yeah. And then you have a good chance of getting your wallet back. And yeah. Go yeah. to convenience store. You can find anything you want, man. Like <laughs> yeah. anything, like for makeup, uh, I guess like 
eye drop, eye solution, mm. everything like including food. Oh, and I love like the convenience store. They sell like bentos, yeah, and onigiri, mm. and they have like sales at night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not time. Oh Top my god, we don't have that in where yeah. I come from. It's so <laughs> awesome. Cool. And like you can get everything cheaper at night. So yeah. like me and Kim, when we go to the supermarket, we're like, oh yeah, we're getting so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Super convenient. Yeah. Oh, like the Japanese girls here, they're really fashionable. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, they're like yeah. they're so dressy. Yeah. Like, I I I think I only like pay attention to the girls because like I love what they're wearing. Sometimes <laughs> I wanna know what they what they get yeah. things yeah. from. So like from two days ago I only see like so many nice girls like wearing nice stuff. Like yeah. they're very dressy and yeah. I just really like it. Yeah. Like, you get inspired from it. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. happened to me because yeah. the first time I went to Japan, my style was so different. I never used to dress in <laughs> Japanese fashion. Mm. And I kept on seeing girls in like these cute dresses and skirts and mm. fashion. So that's how I got into like all the Liz Lisa and everything because mm -hmm. I saw what these girls wearing and I just get inspired by them. Yeah. And that's how I got yeah, into Japanese fashion pretty yeah. much. No, I, I love it here. I can yeah. always dress up. So I can't like dress up back yeah. in the US because no. then you stand out, people are like, why are you yeah. so dressed up and yeah, stuff? Yeah. Yeah. But it's okay to dress up the same too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and they have colorful hairs here. Yeah. Like I yeah. love seeing like, oh, blonde, like blue, and then like pink, and then yeah. like reds, and I'm like, like, I love this country. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like colorful hair. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I went on a train with Kim on the first day and she warned me, she was like, Dahe, I mean, Sunny, it's going to be really cramped. Like, people are literally gonna push you and I was like, ah, you know, she you believe sure? me. And then people literally pushed me mm. and there were so many people in that train yeah. and I thought I was gonna die. I was like, oh my god. Um, it's because it's so crowded here in the stations, like, you can't really help it. There's just, like, nowhere for mm. people to walk without accidentally yeah. bumping into people. Yep. And when you you're getting on the trains um, a lot of times people want to stand near the door but then like more people need to get into the train and yes, so like they they'll, you have to like push to actually get on yeah. because otherwise you can't get into the train yeah. so that's kind of why it happens but um, I feel like Tokyo is a little worse about yeah. it than yeah. other cities because yeah. in Nagoya it's, it's not as bad yeah like, no. And right. same for all stuff, it's not yeah. this bad. No yeah, yeah. bad. Yeah, right. No, I'm. I always feel like a little bit shocked when I come to Tokyo because like I bump into like people bump into me a lot more than yeah. I'm used to in Nagoya. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's happening? Yeah, but, and people are always in a rush to yeah. get to places. Right. Always in a rush. Yeah, yeah, they don't and they don't care when they bump into you. Really. So like on my first day when I arrived here, there was this mm -hmm. guy who was like, boom! I was like, oh, <gasps> <I'm dead. laughs> I was like, oh my god! I was like telling him like, oh my god, that guy just bumped me, and, and I was like, that's normal. Like, that's normal. That's yeah, yeah. Okay. Used to it. yeah. <laughs> they're not trying to be rude. No, it's, yeah. it's just, yeah, there's There's just too many people. My first experience when I came here, okay, so I was expecting, so you know how Asian countries are really cheap, like mm -hmm. dirt cheap? Mm -hmm. I was expecting Japan to be the same, but when I got to Japan, I realized it wasn't cheap at all. It was so much more expensive. Same with mm -hmm. Vietnam or Hong Kong, right. so much more expensive. Yeah. Uh, for Australians, it's, I guess, cheaper in Australia, but still yeah. expensive for an Asian country. Mm. So I thought, yeah, well, I was surprised at how expensive it was, uh, especially going shopping for clothes. It was right. so expensive. Right, yeah. I guess Japan's like, you know, a really extremely developed country. Yeah. It's one of the most like developed countries yeah. in the world. And mm. countries like that tend to be more expensive yeah. because so, like they, you know, yeah. put more into like quality products mm. and like, yeah. um, a higher living wage so like yeah. people have to pay more. So. True. So yeah, it was a lot more expensive than mm. I expected, but um, no, it wasn't too bad if you compare to Australia, it's much mm. cheaper in Australia. But I found that it's so much easier to spend so much money here. Mm -hmm. Because you spend about realizing, like, you know, in the train you just yeah. tag on and off and you don't realize how much yeah. you're spending, yeah. for example. Transportation is a huge expense. Mm, it's so expensive. <laughs> but it's so convenient, it's worth it. Right. It's so convenient. Right. So, a link to their channels, you should definitely check them out if you haven't already. And um, <laughs> we're going to see you again later. Yes. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh. Yo, that doesn't fair. <laughs> I was looking behind me, man. <laughs>